is about water canals and like how they form and where they are usually found in the country. And um, this is Watery Earth Lesson Six, and so let's get started. So, um, as you know, as you probably um know, some um so uh, some um some. So, um, some, uh, I'm sorry, some water channels, they might, um, some, some water channels, they might provide a fun place to play or hang out because you might never know, like, what can be there, like, with, like, giant rocks sticking out and, like, you can jump off them into the fresh water, so that would be cool. And then, um, so natural channels are formed by, this is gonna, this is mostly about where they, how they form, and I'll tell you a little about where they are where they're usually placed in the U.S. Um, and this is only in the U.S. On, this is only in the U.S. I'm studying right now. I haven't studied the whole world wide. So, yeah. Natural channels are formed by fluvial process and are found across the earth. These are mostly formed by flowing waters from the hydrological circle, cycle. They, though, um, can though can also be formed by other fluids such as flowing lava channel channels also describe the deeper course through a reef sandbar bay or any shallow body of water so what i thought was kind of cool is that lavas can actually make these water canals and so um i think that i think that's really cool and um because the, i would have never guessed because lava is kind of like the complete opposite of water so um so um uh, my stream can so stream canals as you can and now I told and now um there's such thing as water canals stream canals and all of that and so um so stream canals um so there are different types of water canals so there can be stream canals and all those types stream canals exist in a variety of gym and, and I might pronounce some of these words not I might not pronounce these words correctly so stream canals exist in a variety of geographies. Stream canal de development is controlled by both water and sediment movement. There is a difference between low granite streams and high granite streams. So, um, and there's an here's an image. Um, and I especially like this image because even though it is a man-made um water canal, as you can see, um, um, water canals they provide a nice um uh, they pro provide a nice um place to get water and for food because you never know there might be fish there so yeah that's pretty good and then um so this is water earth lesson six or seven seven or eight so um i appreciate my teacher mr solaris giving me this I, uh, opportunity to study water canals and other and other types of waters but i mostly focused on water canals so thank you for watching this video bye Oh, and also you can check out other people's, other other of my classmates. Um, um, there's what they study, and you can just go to student portfolios and go to like Michael, Charlie, or Stacey Nicole, and they're all gonna have one of these videos. So.